Hello guys and welcome back with more Mafia 3. So we're just about to meet up with Donovan and I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Let's go do this. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought he'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for done back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Okay, so let's go head to Vito and try to recruit him first. So we're heading to Vito first, so we can recruit him, and we're almost there. Oh crap, I didn't think this was going to be a hostile zone. Sav, you're right, Jax. We're trying to whack Vito. Follow 
me. Stay behind me. Got him. Let's just go grab this adrenaline shot really quickly. Fuck! I'm out! Got him! Get over here! Got him! Get over here! Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Row from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Well, so we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln, Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. The funny thing is, the jacket that Vito was wearing might be the same brown jacket that he wore in Mafia 2.
I'm just going to put our cash away. Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito says a friend of mine. Be there oh, she's not place. slowing down. <gasps> Whoa. Are you trying to kill us, lady? Need to make a deposit, sugar? Better not lose this. On my way. Call me if you need me. So we're about to pick up our next objective. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk. Roy's problem? He's got a pretty wife. It's how the dumb son of a bitch wound up buying a house and a car he couldn't afford. Let me just go check them out really quick. Okay, guys, so we have to cause as much damage again to the properties or to the rackets so we can flush out the underballs. So let's go do that. some shit up. Fancy meeting you here, shithead. Especially around here. 
As far as I'm concerned, if you can look me in the eyes and tell me you like jazz, then I know what I'm talking Give me a second, guys. Let me just go check them out really quick. Okay, I guess we have to go kill another enforcer. Something's out there. Let's go. Okay, so I guess we're swimming. Just found a stiff. Let's try over there. Let me just go and destroy this. Okay, I I guess we're done here. So we're about to interrogate someone.
You ever seen Michael Greco have an original thought that didn't have something to do with pussy or blow? My parent has a cafe <laughs> no. around the corner. That shit was oh. sad all the way. Okay, I guy guess one? he's not coming out. Say, we're coming in instead. <laughs> huh? to run now, bro. <laughs> Shit. You're gonna tell me about Roy's smuggling operation. The boss is trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. I don't know where the shipment is. Go with God, motherfucker. <laughs> How about I'm making the dot? We can't stay here for long, so let's go leg it. Sentry managed to call the reinforcement. You ain't that sly, dipshit. You gotta get yours. Reloading.
What's this? Medical supplies. Antibiotics, bandages, bunch of other stuff. Thought you could put it to good use. I probably don't want to know where this came from. Don't ask and I won't have to tell you. Fair enough. I know some folks who can use this. I'll take it from here. I'm just going to put away some cash and we're about to confront the underboss. We've got to hand some cash over for safekeeping. I'm in the French ward. Be there soon. Your money's always Keep safe, safe with me, Bonsoir, Shane. Don't track that dirt in my house. Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vita will turn things around. You'll see. Greco getting rid of Mr. Let's go set these two on fire. Keep losing money and merchandise like we've been. Really sorry I had to disturb your number two. Gonna blow that bitch in half. <laughs>
do this? Sure I do. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Those Fanooks never should have fucked with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Doc Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the Commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Hey Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out of my ass. Didn't give a shit, I got a pregnant wife at home. This is New Bordeaux, New Jersey. 